Hey guys, today I'm back with my June favorites. Oh, uh, this summer is flying by. I know you hear it from everyone. You probably feel it yourself, but my gosh, I can, no, it's not June, it's July. Goodness gracious, I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyways, this summer, I mean, it's almost over. I don't know. It is, what is today? It is the 29th, so goodness. Okay, this month, I mean, I've just kind of been sticking to a lot of the same things as before. I have to say, I haven't changed it up a lot this summer. I've been wearing some brighter lips. Uh, not really bright, but brighter for me. Um, I've just been kind of busy with my kiddos, so I haven't done a whole lot of crazy makeup. But I've still been wearing makeup. I've still been enjoying it. And I will just show you what I have been loving so far this month. Okay, first off, I decided to, I've been trying to do some makeup cleanup and clean out some stuff that's older and I'm not really using. And I went through my foundation drawer, which is, it's just embarrassing. I have a drawer. And my YSL Latant Touche Touch Eclat Foundation, I picked this up. It's been a while. It's not like crazy old. It wasn't right when it came out, but I've had it for a while. And I got the shade BD40. Oh, and it has an expiration. Expiration of 215. So I need to get going. I think when it has an expiration date like that, as long as it's used up like within a few months of that, you're okay. That's just me. Anyways, um, I picked up BD40. Maybe it was in the winter. And it might have been a touch too dark. So I was like, I'll try it now. And it works perfect for me. So I think I can use it for a good bit into the winter and I can make things work. Even if it's a little darker, I feel like I can make it work. I may have to lighten it up a little, but I have been loving this. It's lightweight, but it does give me good coverage and it looks natural skin, but without being like greasy and overly dewy. I've just really been liking it. It has a nice pump. It's like a really good feeling bottle. It's I mean, it's why I sell it. should be, but I've really liked it. And another item for the face I have been enjoying a lot, and I have to admit, I didn't give it a lot of attention when I first got it, and it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Palette. I picked it up around Christmas time when it came out, and I have the Diffuse Light, and I love it. And that's the only one I've been using. I haven't been um, using this a lot. But here lately, I've really been enjoying using my dim light all over and this radiant light kind of on the cheeks and over the bronzer to give that just a little bit of an extra glow. And I'll touch a little bit of this incandescent light on my cheekbones for a highlight. But any of it, I just, I've been really enjoying it. And the radiant light especially since, you know, summertime you have a little more warmth to your skin. But this is nice. If you don't have this, I don't think you need it. I'm not saying go purchase this if you don't have it, but if you have it, pull it out and give it some love. I have to say the Diffused is still my favorite of the colors, but I have really been enjoying having this and using it because it is, you know, you have everything right there. For cheeks, I've been enjoying two blushes. I've been kind of not using blushes lately, so it was nice to start using them again. First off is the Tarte Captivating. I am obsessed with this. I um, I wanted it for a while, but I held off because I have so many peachy blushes. This is kind of like a peachy, it's not burnt orange, but it's kind of a cross between a peachy and a burnt orange. So it has a little more brown in it, so it's like that natural shade. It's not like you have some orange cheeks. I'm wearing it today. I don't know how well it shows up. Um, I Pretty much every day I've been wearing blush, I've been wearing this one within the past few weeks. I love it a lot. I don't know if it's limited edition because it has a special packaging. If it is and you're interested, I really highly recommend picking it up because it is quite nice. And I'm not going to lie, these Tarte blushes, they don't stay for 12 hours on me. But I really like them. I like the packaging. They're nice, compact, you know. And if you don't know, you can pop out the pan. And then the other blush is a lot more high-end, and it's a lot different. It's Burberry, Burberry, however you want to pronounce it, Earthy Blush number 7. And it is like a tan color. I mean, it's like brown. So, 
it's not for everyone, but I've really liked it for that just like natural look. You could honestly pick up a darker skin tone um, powder and kind of do the same thing. It's not quite bronzer shade, but I've loved it a lot. Like, a lot. Okay, I have two eye things and then the rest is lips. This is just amazed me. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I had put off trying this for so long. The wand is not even impressive to me. It's a regular bristle brush and it's small, but I have been loving it. I, I'll, I'll get close so you can see my eyes. Can you see the volume and the length it gives my lashes? I don't know if it's impressive to y'all, but it's impressive to me. Okay, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's not even this. It's brown eyeliner is what it is. But this has been the one I've been using. It's the Victoria's Secret Eyeliner in Dark Chocolate. It is a dark chocolate. But I have been using brown eyeliner lately instead of black. I like how it looks. I always enjoy it. I don't know why I don't do it more often. But if you want something different for the summer, give brown eyeliner a try. And it just kind of warms up your eye look because it has like warmth to it. It's not overly red, but I really like it a lot. And every time I wear brown eyeliner, I think, why do I not wear this more often instead of black? But, you know, we always go back to the black. Last but not least are four lip products. And they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of boring, but I like them. This is the Fresh Sugar Shine Lip, lip Treatment. It is just that gloss. I've really been liking it because it's moisturizing, but it's pretty. And I was in Sephora the other day and I saw they had a new product. It was a fresh lip treatment, but it was in a pump. I didn't try it out. I didn't take the time to really look at it. But if any of you have seen it or heard anything about it, let me know down below. Because that may be something really nice for the winter time or overnight. The MAC Patent Polish in Patent Pink. This is the Sharon Osbourne packaging. It came out before that. It has been just a really pretty cool tone baby pink. This one makes it look a lot more gray and mauve. It is just so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on. It's just so like, it's one of those easy throw in your purse and go kind of things. It's, you know, it doesn't really involve a lot of thought or time. The Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss and Blushing Bride. These are, they're new to me at least. I hadn't even heard about them. This is the most perfect rosy everyday kind of color. These are nice lip glosses. Um, I don't mind a sticky lip gloss so other people may think they're sticky. I don't think they're overly sticky. I'm sorry if I'm wrong but um, I've enjoyed it. And my favorite has been this little freebie. The Buxom Lipstick and Mistress. I'll give you a little swatch. It's kind of like a rosy mid-tone, not rosy, it's just like a medium pink. There it is right there. My favorite way to apply it has been over like a clear lip balm so the two kind of mix together and make like a really juicy, not overly bright pink lip, but very vibrant and just really pretty. So if you have a chance, it came in like a little um, Sephora freebie pack in this box. So if you have a chance to pick it up, it was worth it for this alone. I mean, it's free, so whatever, but I really like this color a lot. And I don't know if it's available in a full size. I'm sorry if it's not, but I'm sure it is. Anyways, um, oh, sorry. It is similar to MAC Chatterbox, but I like this a lot more. So that is all for my favorites for the month of July. And um, I just can't believe the summer's almost over. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even sad because fall is my favorite time. Oh, I love when it becomes fall. It's a, we have a ways for that, especially where I live. But anyways, I will let you go so much and I will see you guys later. Bye.